Well, it looks like I did something wrong. <laughs> I just uploaded my uh, fuel filter video for this coach and that inside o-ring goes on the threads and I went back and looked at the video and it sure looks like it does. Funny thing is, I've been driving this thing for 6,000 miles with no problems at all. But the last thing I want to do is shoot a do-it-yourself video on changing something as simple as a fuel filter and do it wrong. So it looks like maybe I, I didn't use that inside o-ring and there was not one there. It did not fall off. I was very careful. Uh, so whoever owned this coach before me didn't put it on there. So let's take it back off and see. Lucky for me, I saved it. Okay, so I pulled it back off. And uh, there's the O-ring that I did not use. And it certainly is that diameter. And uh, if you look at the threads, I showed this in my last upload on changing this filter. And uh, you can see the groove right there. And I, you know, just didn't really think that this belonged there. I mean, it definitely fits, but see how loose it is, too? And I was nervous about using that because I didn't take one out. But uh, from all the comments from you guys, everyone's telling me to use it. Uh, keep in mind, I've, I've driven this RV for 6,000 miles. Yeah, you guys are just watching this filter change now, but I did that in June, and it is September. We put 6,000 miles on this this summer. Um, that trip out west was 5,500 miles, so I drove this for 5,500 miles with no issues without that O-ring there. But apparently, from what you guys are telling me, it belongs there. So let's see how the filter fits with it there. I would have never put that there. Look, look how loose that is. Just almost doesn't even feel like it would do much of anything. But I'm taking your word for it. You guys that are commenting would know more about it than me. So let's see how it fits. Okay, I'm using a an engine oil for a lubricant. Just what I had sitting around in the garage. lube that one more time so from what you guys were telling me without this some comments of it sucking air some comments of it being non filtered fuel I think that's probably more likely but And that was a rookie mistake, wasn't it? It fits perfectly. Last thing we need to do is let's start it up and make sure we have no leaks. So how embarrassing is that, man? Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't have uh, an excuse. I honestly didn't think it went there, but after hearing you guys, um, and it fits. Uh, the O-ring was a little bit loose on the housing, but once you would thread that up in there, it would isolate those threads. My guess is probably as one or two of you said, it was some unfiltered fuel making its way through there. So pretty important piece. Um, but again, it ran great for the past 6,000 miles. Our, our 5,500 mile trip we did in June, and then we did a couple of short trips. We just got back actually yesterday from um, Harrisburg, and and uh, I flat towed the Jeep. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And um, but yeah, let's start this up. Turn the key on. We wait 30 seconds. No problem. Alright, let's go back and take a look, make sure we have no leaks.
Well, I'll be anxious to hear your thoughts on the performance issues. What exactly is that sealing? Is it is it sealing from? I, I can't see it being air. One of you mentioned air, but uh, I believe it would just really simply be an unfiltered fuel mistake that that O-ring was. But it's now fixed, and I appreciate you guys for helping me out there. Where were you in June when I did this repair? Anyway, uh, check the description of this video and I'll put the link to the fuel filter one that I did. This is the correct way to do it now. Thanks again guys. I'll catch you next time.